Hey, we're here at Bird's Mouth Beer uh, to visit Andrew and see what's going on here. I uh, haven't been here before. I do love their beer. They call it, I think, Jersey style beer. So we'll see what it's all about. We're on the fort. I mean, amazing. Just driving through here. I'm wearing my uh, Aaron Open hat for all our local friends. The Rumson St. Pat's Day parade is coming up. So get out there and uh, let's check it out. How you doing? Welcome to Bird's Mouth Beer. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, yeah, say who you are. <laughs> I'm Andy Joy. I'm one of the owners of Bird's Mouth, also uh, one of the brewers as well. All right, come on in. We opened up about a year ago. Um, we're an all lager brewery, which is kind of unique to New Jersey. Um, a lot of other breweries do some ales and stuff, but we decided we were going to do all easy drinking lagers. Um, and that's kind of how we built the brew house and you know, built all our ideas around that. Um, so if you look at our menu up there, you know, we've got six lagers. We usually keep things pretty simple. Simplicity is kind of our, uh, our bread and butter. Our recipes are simple. Our beers are simple. Um, try to make easy drinking beer you can have a few of um, that you can have out in your local bars and restaurants. So that's really what everything we try to center around simplicity and just trying to be utilitarian in the way that we do things to provide a product that's easy drinking and you don't have to think about too much. You can just enjoy. So the brewery is located in the old Fort Monmouth um, Army base and in ocean, on the ocean port side. Um, we love this, this area. The town has been super cool and super friendly to us opening the brewery here, which has uh, just made the whole process enjoyable. And we really like being a part of this community. And I think that we've been embraced by a lot of the folks in the area. And that's just, you know, means a lot to us that we can be part of a great, a great community here in Oceanport. Um, and if you look, this building that we're in was actually the old commissary building. Um, this was the grocery store for the fort. And we try to keep a little bit of that history alive. We have, that is actually the commissary sign, which we uh, kind of repurposed as now our beer menu. Um, and there's a couple other things. I don't actually have it up, but I have the, the motto for the actual commissary, which we're going to put on the wall. Um, because it's cool that it was the grocery store, it was a communal place for the fort, and we kind of want to keep that tradition alive with our brewery. People come in, uh, enjoy our beer, and have a, a place that they can kind of call home. Um, as far as Bird's Mouth, what a Bird's Mouth is, is actually a woodworking joint. Um, it's more of a construction type joint. It's not, you know, a fancy, fancy like a dovetail. Um, it's built for, used for putting, you know, roofs on houses, which is kind of the beer that we make is very utilitarian, very, um, you know, for a purpose. You know, if you think about, you know, a woodworker that makes an awesome, you know, chair, he's a, he's a craftsman opposed to just making something that looks beautiful. You have to make something that's functional. Uh, and that's important to us because the way that we brew our beers is, we want them to be functional, that you can incorporate them into a part of your life style, not just, you know, to knock your socks off with flavors. They're supposed to fit into, you know, friends, family, that kind of thing. So that's actually the, uh, where Bird's Mouth came from. Um, and we actually have one, you know, if you look around the brewery, there's a couple places where you can see little, you know, Bird's Mouths. We did all the, you know, we built all the furniture in here. You know, we installed all the brew house, so we're, uh, we're not just brewers, we're also trying to be craftsmen as well and do as much as we, we can ourselves. Um, and then also, that's the New Jersey State Bird because we are distributed through New Jersey. That's kind of what our gig here is, is a wholesale brewery trying to get out to bars and restaurants. We do have the tasting room, which is awesome to get, you know, face to face with uh, customers that come in and like our beer. But ultimately the goal is to try to, you know, get out to bars and restaurants and, and, and service it from a wholesale, wholesale standpoint. And you'll see in the brewery, that's what we built the brewery to do. So now you know a little bit about our lagers. So uh, let's take a walk and I'll show you guys how it's made. So here uh, we're back in, the, we call this the cellar where the tanks, the brew house and um, all of basically the brewing equipment is. So if you notice, it's on a slope drain floor. Um, so why don't we take a walk and I'll, I'll bring you up on the brew deck. And just watch, there's a lot of tripping hazards and stuff. So before we go up, um, just a little bit of kind of what you're looking at here. So this, we call this the hot side. This is where the actual brewing process is happening, um, where we're turning, you know, grain uh, into sugar and then 
in the, on the cold side, we're going to ferment that sugar into beer. So basically the entire process that you're going to see up on this brew deck is trying to turn the starch in grain to sugar to feed it to yeast. So that's the hot side. And then once we turn to get that sugar solution, which is called wort, unfermented beer, it goes into one of these um, tanks that we have here. So these are 30 barrel fermenters, um, which is about 600 gallons. Um, that is a 60 barrel fermenter, which I believe is around 2,000 gallons. Wait, it was 1,000, 2,000. Um, that's where the actual yeast is going to be um, introduced and they are going to eat those sugars that we make on the hot side and turn that into alcohol and CO2 uh, and eventually beer. So brewers make wort, yeast makes beer, and for us, because we do all lagers, um, we do a very cold fermentation, which takes a little longer than doing ales, but the end result is a beer that's a little bit more refined, a little bit easier to drink, um, less fruity, more kind of... Uh, drinkable and that's what we love about lagers and that's why that's the only thing we do so come on I'll bring you up to the uh, to the brew deck so this is uh, Derek the other brewer me and me and Derek brew all the beer and uh, right now he's mashing in one of our latest seasonals which is going to be another hoppy beer um, so mashing in is the first step in the process where we're going to introduce water at a certain temperature to the grain and that starch in the grain is going to start to be converted in the mash tun. Um, so this is the, called the mash tun. And then over here, the next step in the process, we, we need to separate those solids. So this is called the lauder tun. And the lauder tun is going to separate the liquid from the solids. Obviously it's beer, so we just want the liquid. And from there, it's going to go over to the kettle, where it will be boiled. And that's where hops are going to be added as well. So over here is the kettle. So we have another batch. We brew multiple batches in a day. So this is actually a boiling batch that Derek started this morning. Um, so that's boiling away. And from there, from here, it's going to get cooled off and go into one of these tanks where yeast is going to be introduced and that's where that fermentation is going to happen. So today we're brewing um, another hoppy beer. So we used to brew uh, a dry hop Pilsner uh, and we, we actually we stopped brewing it and people have been you know kind of requesting that we do another hoppy beer. So that's what we're doing today and uh, so we'll have that. And we are making lagers so it takes about five six weeks to have it done but we'll have it done you know for spring and summer. I'm um, pretty excited about it. We got some cool German hops that we're going to use in this one and uh, really looking forward to getting another hoppy beer out there for you guys. So we're going to take a step down from the brew deck and uh, you, look, you look thirsty. Get you a beer. So after the fermentation's done and the yeast has fallen out of the beer, we go from these tanks with cones on them to tanks with no cones. It's called a bright tank. And this is actually a tank of finished beer. And we're actually going to can some of it today. So this is dark lager. Um, and so I'm going to pour you one straight out of the nice straight out of the tank. So this is a pigtail just makes it so that we can actually pour it out of a tank this big. And there you go. There she goes. How's my, how's my angle? Looks good. Perfect pour right there. 11 a.m., that's fine, right? It's Friday. <laughs> oh, it's Friday, absolutely. That's good. Cut me off. We're Cut me off, coach. Whoop. Nice. So that's our uh, our dark lager, which is a beer we brew all year long. Tasty. Um, thank you. Appreciate I like that. that. It's rich but smooth. Yeah. Not it's, a ton of alcohol, right? Nope, 5.2, which is actually our, our, one of our higher offerings like at 5.2. Like an 18-pack a day? That's it. No Everyday that's lagers. Really I mean, that's our slogan. What, what is this called? Uh, dark lager. Yeah. So it's a Perfect. Dunkel style beer. Awesome. Um, and what were you brewing up there? I heard you mention it. Uh, you're brewing now. So Yeah. So what we were brewing is another hoppy beer. Gotcha. So we used to make hoppy pills, which yeah, was yeah. a dry hopped pilsner. Um, so we're doing another dry hop lager. Nice. Just because we make lagers doesn't mean we're not hop heads. So 
Perfect, perfect, I'm, perfect temperature too. What is this at? This is uh, that is at 34 degrees. Yeah, I mean this is how I like. Yeah, to it's drink gonna this. come. It's gonna come real, real cold out of this yeah. bad boy. Nice, good. So I just learned this one was a little short. They just fired up the canning line and they weigh it out, which is interesting. So this is one of the first ones that came off. It was a little short on weight. So this is garbage. So I'm gonna crack this puppy. This is nice. Fuck, it didn't open. <laughs> so I'm gonna crack this thing open, this little fringe benefit. Oh, that's nice. My wife's not gonna like this. Let me this. crack one, see how it's tasting. There you go. Perfect. Oh, that cheers. was actually yeah, a cheers. Mm. Ah, that's nice. That's a good breakfast you, beer. You gotta, you gotta mark your can, little indent, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's take breakfast beer. Mm -hmm. The brunch beer. That's good. So once we get into doing more canning and do going wholesale with cans, you know, this line will be a lot bigger. Do these get packaged up as a six pack or four pack? So we do 12 packs and six packs. Nice, good. Yep. Awesome Thank you. place. We'll be back to drink some more beer and, and hang out. So uh, yeah, thanks for having us. Maybe you of say course, of course. a few closing words. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for coming and checking out the brewery. Um, I hope, you know, if, you, if you're local, you want to come and hang out and have a beer with us. That'd be awesome. Or check us out at one of your local uh, bars or restaurants.